another friendly match rerun, and another victory. On today's episode, we will recap Iran's friendly match against Angola and talk about some interesting tweets. You know the deal, and you know what time it is. It's time for Team Ellie Talk. Amir Galenoi is definitely in a good mood. Hey everyone, welcome back to Team Melly Talk. We know what you want, so let's get right to Iran's starting lineup against Angola. Getting the start in goal, Payam Niazman. Now for the rest of the lineup, let's start with the back line. Milad Mohammadi, Shoja Khalilzadeh, Mohammad Daneshgar, Sadeh Moharami. Now for the midfielders, Ruzbe Cheshmi, Saman Godus, Ali Karimi. Now up top, first on the wings, Mehti Torabi, Ali Reza Jahanbash, and of course, the dangerous striker, Mehti Taremi. A different lineup used by Amir Galanui. Let's check out the highlights. I'm going to talk about the team. I'm going to talk about the football team. I'm going to talk about the team. I'm going to talk about the فریدی آل فریدو رو بیرون توی یه موقعیت برای گل اول میرفت میده دروازه باز این فرصت هست و بعد خط دفاع و دروازان تیم ملی آنگولا جا اشتباه کپتن تیم آنگولا و اول رو درودن و ترابی اینجا پاس رو داد محیا کرد تا مهدی تارمی زننده گل اول برای کشور اون باشه اینجا دوگی خوب ضربه قدس رو برگرده دوباره Turabi va dar nahayat Mehdi Tarimi Payam Niyazman Qashang az Hayraza Jambash Hala unja Turabi da sabit ikon az kenosh dara o be lap mikone Milad Mohammadi Hala pasu besh mide Mohammadi bar migarne ya kartbag yoy mogat va gol do wo be yek qadami Jabad Nekunan mirase dar 38 gol zade Resid be rekord Jabad Nekunan ye gol dige bezane با سی و نو کل ملی از جواد نکنام رد میشه اینجا پاسه میلاد محمدی یه پای مطمئن برای ماجه اول باشگاه پورتو تارمی شرف قشنگ چرفی و پاس داد جمع بخش برای ترابی پاس گل اول رو داد مهدی ترابی حال حرکت میکنه میزنه مهدی ترابی و میریم برای گل سوم و صادق محرمی سب میشه یا به نام مدافع آنگولا صادق محرمی که 26 شمین بازی ملیش هست اگه بارکر اینجا ترابی رو ببینید یه شکتا تو زد اینجا توی اصفاس رو داد و این اولین گل ملی خودش رو به سمر میرسونه در این دیدار و سه بر سه به نفع ایران رو پاس گل از مهدی ترابی صادق محرمی هست که اونجا مستقیم به سمت شاچون یه لحظه مهدی تارمی اونجا پیش خورد به سر یکی از بازگان خودمون اینجا سالوادور به کجا اقام اومده بازم تو پول لو دادن موقعیت برای بازی کنن ما و از زر بزن به بیرون زد سامان قدوس که دو بازی برای تیم ملی سوید یه گل زد حالا اونجا فویدی ارسال میکنه زر سر و این توب که به بیرون میره و یاروستان رو به دست و داره کورنر رو میزنه پای چپ و اونجا یه سر به سر ناگهانی رو زد آلفرد ریبیرو مرقب به فریدی حالا ارسال اونگه تون دو تیز مشت میکنه تو پایمه نیازمند روی ریباند هم اونجا در گرفت میگویل حالا بلند میزنه پشت پا رو هدفی گروچه شجاع خلی زده خودش میرسونه خطا به نرزر میسید از پاچی انسی ها و این زده که پایمه نیازمند با کنه چیکی میده و خط امروز هم جاپونی که این حرکت رو ببینیم یه موقعی هدی ارسال رو به جلو میریم برای گل چارم محبی چه فرصتی رو ازت داد و از صفح های صفی کریمی های صفی رو دوباره را میدازه موقعیت خوب برای تیم ملی کشورمون محبی رو به عقب حالا برای مقانلو یه نفر دیری میکنه شهریار مقانلو حالا مقانلو هم کنه چقدر باهوش بازی کرد پاک صفی پاس کات بک داد بین دو نفر در حالی که دو تا مدافع روشون به سمت او و پاس داد و مقالدو هم اینجا یه دیری بیه لایی 
شهر بیاره چهار این بازی مدیش ایران چهار آنگولا سر A 4-0 victory for Iran over Angola. Amir Kalenoui had to be thrilled about the clean sheet and the easy victory. Mehdi Tarami scored two goals on the day. But my choice for man of the match is Mehdi Torabi because he had two assists and he was directly involved in all three goals in the first half. Shahriyar Moganlu scored his first ever goal for Iran, so obviously a great moment for the striker from Sepahan. Once again, It was nice to see Saman Godus have another good game for Iran, and I hope Amir Galanoui continues to put him in the starting lineup. In terms of strategy and tactics, it is clear that Iran's pressing was very successful, because the Angolans gave the ball away on many occasions. We also cannot ignore the fact that Iran was moving the ball very well. We saw some good teamwork, individual talent, and good link-up play. I'm glad that Amir Galanoui experimented with his starting lineup and with some of his substitutions, but I was not particularly impressed with Iran's two starting defensive midfielders in Ruzbe Cheshmi and Ali Karimi. I mean, obviously, yes, I love Ruzbe Cheshmi, and I think Ali Karimi is a solid midfielder, but neither player should be starting regularly for Iran. To my surprise, Saleh Hardani made an appearance for Iran when he came on for Sadeh Moharami in the second half. I'm a big fan of Saleh Hardani. He needs to be called up to Team Meli regularly. Now, will that happen? Well, that's hard to say because Hardani was not even on Galanoui's list for these two friendly matches. Now, what about you? Which player were you most impressed with in Iran's 4-0 victory over Angola? Leave a comment down below. Always look forward to getting your input. Now, to finish off this edition of Team Meli Talk, I actually want to share some tweets. First, from Masoud Hossein of the Tehran Times. Warm-ups like this cannot help Iran prepare for the 2023 AFC Asian Cup. Thank you, Masoud, for tagging me. And let's take a look at my response. Quote, I agree 100%, but these results make Ghalenoui happy. End quote. Let's take a look at another tweet. This one is from Persian Soccer. Dennis Eckert was recently quoted saying, The Iranian manager has not called me yet. Dennis Eckert is a German winger who is currently playing in the Belgian Premier League for Union saint gilois Eckert is of Spanish and Iranian ethnicity, and it appears that his real last name is Eckert Dargahi. This means that Dennis Eckert is eligible to play for Team Meli, the national team of Iran. He is 26 years old and so far has scored 7 goals in 13 appearances for Union saint gilois Now for the next tweet, it is a combination of next generation football and Persian soccer. What is Galenoui doing? Instead of calling up players like Moganlu and Asadi, this would be a great opportunity for all parties involved. Even though Eckert is eligible to play for Iran, he still needs to arrange his Iranian passport and get other paperwork sorted out. But now it is time to have a reality check. Amir Galenoui was recently asked by a journalist about Dennis Eckert. And Amir Galanoui said that it was the first time that he had heard Dennis Eckert's name. Amir Galanoui is clueless. He is perfectly happy with watching the Iranian Pro League and eating beef kubideh. He is not the kind of head coach who will go out of his way to recruit players like Dennis Eckert. I hope I am wrong because I want Team Meli to win regardless of who the head coach is. But we continue to see Amir Galanoui do the same thing over and over. Calling up older players and not showing any concern about the future of Team Meli. And that's it everybody for this edition of Team Meli Talk. As always, really do appreciate the support. Make sure you get to our website, www.teammelitalk.com. Remember, this is your best source for latest news on Team Meli, the national team of Iran. Make sure you find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know the handle, at Team Meli Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button. See you on the next edition of Team Meli Talk.